Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 back at it again making these tutorials. I apologize once more for being gone for so long, but now I'm back. And if you'd like to see the updates to this channel, click on the card or the annotation that's on the screen right now to learn more. In this episode, we'll be making an extremely flexible level up system that you can edit and fix to your needs easily. We'll be doing this in Unity and also in C Sharp, and this tutorial is aimed more towards beginners to... I guess intermediate students. Without further ado, let's jump right into this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be making a level up system. The one that we showed at the beginning of the tutorial is a very basic version that you can easily modify and fix to suit your needs. Before we start, the UI that we will be making will only work in versions 4.6 and higher of the Unity engine. It is possible to make the UI through the old scripting method if you know how to do that, but I highly recommend using the drag and drop style UI system for beginners. Let's begin by creating a new project. I've already created the scripts that will handle the player being able to get points. Download these by using the link in the description below. Drag and drop these from your downloads folder wherever you save them into your project window. And we are going to go ahead and add in all the physical elements of our scene before we begin coding them for ourselves. Let's add in our made object. Go to game object, create empty object. We'll name it GM for game manager. This is where we'll be putting all of our scripts. Go ahead and drag and drop the two scripts you imported onto the object. The point system script gives the player a certain number of points every time the function is called and the player script receives these points and displays them. In the point systems script, change the delay to 0.5 and the points to give to 5. This will give our player 10 points every second. Now that we've created our object and set up all the scripts, let's create a basic UI so that we can test this properly. Go to game object, UI, and then click on text. This is what we will use to display how many points the player currently has. Near the position controls, you should see a box on the left. Click on this box to open up your anchor point controls. Hold down Alt and Shift to lock the pivot in the position and then click the one in the dead center of the window. This moves our text to the exact center of the screen and it will remain here no matter how the screen scales. This is very useful when developing on a platform like Android and iOS because you only have to make one UI and let the engine scale and move the elements around for you. In order for this to work, drag the text object from your hierarchy to the display variable. Now that we've added our display for our points, let's add a button. We will use the button as a trigger to trigger the level up. Let's do the same thing we did to our text and position our button in the center. We don't want these objects to overlap, so we need to move the object down slightly. Now that we've finished the physical aspect of the UI, let's go ahead and write the code that will make this entire contraption work. Go to your project window, click on create right near the window title in the top left corner of that window, and click C Sharp Script. We'll name this script Level Up. To start off, we need to create our variables. We need variables to find our other scripts so that the script can know how many points the player has. Let's make a private variable referencing our player's script. Now let's get on with the fun stuff. We need to make a start function so that as soon as the game loads, these functions will run. In the start function, we need to find our player script component. The reason we do this is so that we, it knows which object to modify or change and not change all of the objects at once. We use this line of code right here to find the script on the object. If you were to have the player script object on a different object, then you would need to find the object that this script is on and then reference the script from that object. Now let's move on to the bones of this entire script, upgrading levels. We need to create three integer variables, one for each tier of upgrade. These are so that we know how much it costs in points to upgrade. Now let's make a brand new function called change level. This needs to be a public function so that we can access this function in the editor. More on this in a couple minutes. In this function, we need to make sure that the function doesn't run if the player doesn't have enough points. We can do this simply using a series of if then statements. We need to get the number of points from the script so that we can reference that variable by saying script.points. Also, the number of points needs to be greater than or equal to the number of points required. Inside of this statement we've just made, we will use the debug.log function 
so that we know whether or not our script has any bugs. We also need to subtract the required amount of points from the total number of points the player has so that he can't upgrade himself again. We have run into a small issue though while doing this. We can't use this unless we know which level our player is currently on. To fix this, we can make a private integer called i and set it equal to 0. Remember, computers start counting at 0 so this makes everything easier especially if you add, want to add more functionality to the script. At the end of the if statement, add i equals double equals sign 0. This will allow us to identify our current level much more easily than if it was three separate functions. Now all we have to do is copy and paste this statement twice more below the original. All we have to do is change i's value and also the variable in the reference to the respective level. We're done with the script. Now we need to go back into the editor and set the button up. One more thing before we go to set up the button, we need to add the level up to our game manager and also set the variables that determine when our player can rank up. I'll set these to 50, 100, and 150, but you can set them to whatever you want. Select the button in the hierarchy and view it in the inspector. If you scroll all the way down, you should see a box labeled on click. Click the plus button to add a function to the button. Select the game manager object and then click on the drop down and mouse over level up. You should see an option for change level. Click on this and then we can go to our game and test it out. Hooray! It works! We finally got all of our bugs out, and that completes this week's episode. I hope you got something out of this video, and if you have any questions, you should put them in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you ASAP. If this video sucked, you know what to do, but if you liked the video, don't forget to drop a like, and maybe even subscribe so that you never miss an episode of this show. Check out our website, social media, and our new merch in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.